So we're going to look at an example using the product rule. Um, in this case, our function, we've got, if, if you want, you can think of it as a product of three items. We've got the 5 times the x squared times the sine x. But we already have a constant rule that says that if you've got a constant multiple, you know, that's just going to multiply the entire derivative. So we can bring that out front. We don't have to worry about it. Um, what we do have to worry about is the product of the x squared times sine x. And so what we might do in this case, in fact, so that we don't have to worry too much about that constant multiple, is we'll choose to group things like so. We'll treat 5x as one term. We'll treat sine x as another term. Um, of course, if we want the tangent line, we need to compute the derivative. So here's our solution. First thing we got to do, find f prime of x. Okay, so f prime of x is the derivative of 5x squared times sine x. Product rule says we do the derivative of 5x squared. Then we multiply by sine x plus 5x squared times the derivative of sine x. So now we have to take care of these two derivatives. So this derivative here, this derivative here. So we know that for the derivative of 5x squared, the derivative of x squared, using the power rule, is 2x. Constant rule says we take that, we multiply by 5, and we get 10x. Right? Over here, we know that the derivative of sine is cosine. Okay? So we have those two derivatives. And then we put in the remaining. All right, so we're still multiplying by sine x in the first term. We're still multiplying by 5x squared in the second term. Okay? And now we have our derivative. Uh, a lot of you will probably be able to, once you have a bit of practice, you'll be able to jump straight to this answer without worrying about the intermediate steps, and that's fine. Um, but until you get the hang of the product rule, until you kind of get used to this pattern, and, and once you're confident that you're not going to make any mistakes, like just multiplying the two derivatives, once you've kind of internalized that pattern, then you just write down the answer, right? Once you get the hang of this, you jump straight to the answer. You can do it in one go. All right, so we've got our derivative. We were asked, though, for a tangent line, so we've got to do a little bit more work. For our tangent line, we need our point. We need our slope. So we've got the x-coordinate for the point. We need the y-coordinate. So what is the y-coordinate? The y-coordinate is f at pi over 2. Well. Sine at pi over 2 is equal to 1. Right? So this is going to be 5 times pi over 2 squared times sine at pi over 2. So this is going to be 5 over 4 pi squared. It's not the greatest number, but it's fine. We can write it down. Now every number in calculus is going to look nice. F prime at pi over 2. We have 10 times we put the pi over 2 in here. Pi over 2 times sine of pi over 2. OK, but there's a second term. 5 times pi over 2 squared times cosine of pi over 2. Ah, but cosine of pi over 2 is 0. Sine of pi over 2 is 1. So this term is gone. Here we have 1, 10 times pi over 2. This comes out to be 5 pi as the value of the derivative. OK, so once we've got our point, we've got our slope, we can write down the equation of the tangent line. The line is going to be y equals the y-coordinate on the line, 5 over 4 pi squared, plus the slope, 
5 pi times x minus the x-coordinate on the line. And then we're done.